it's that time when the eternal battle between ROG and Red Magic takes place once again on this hallowed battleground, our Geekbench. With their freshest pieces of mobile tech, the ROG Phone 8 Pro and Red Magic 9 Pro, these titans of the gaming phone space are always neck and neck with each other when it comes to performance and hardware, and ultimately everything boils down to preference that and your bank account. I've been using both of these gaming smartphones for about a month each as daily drivers for gaming and doom scrolling, and boy do I have a lot to say about the both of them. Both phones sport pretty similar specs. The Red Magic 9 Pro and RNG Phone 8 Pro are powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3s and the Adreno 750 GPUs, but the Red Magic has the addition of its own Record 2 Pro, a chip that helps take some of the weight off the Snapdragon when it comes to gaming, which does help in performance, which we'll get into in a bit. However, when it comes to storage and RAM capacity, the Red Magic 9 Pro comes in three colorways in two configurations. The Sleet with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, while the Cyclone and Snowfall come in 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. The ROG Phone 8 Pro Edition that we have comes with 24 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte of storage. The differences continue with the Red Magic 6.8 inch display, which is 0.02 inches larger than the ROG Phone 8 Pro 6.7 inch. The brightness on the ROG Phone 8 Pro is greater than the Red Magic at 2,500 nits peak versus 1,600 nits peak. And lastly, for power, the largest battery capacity goes to the Red Magic at 6,500 million power compared to the ROG's 5,500 million power. With all of that said, these phones are guaranteed to bring you hours of entertainment, but what will help elevate that is a secret lab chair. Here at Geek Culture, we've tested plenty of chairs, but Secret Lab gaming chairs remain one of our favorites. Whether it's for work or play, they feel great to lean back against, with their ergonomic features offering support for the whole body, from the head and back to the arms, and even something for your butt. This mix of form and function helps the Titan EVO 2022 deliver the best seating experience like no other. For more information, check out secretlab.co. For benchmarks, I ran both phones in their default modes and the X mode for the ROG and Rise mode for the Red Magic, and here are the results for 3D Mark Solar Base stress tests. In the 3D Mark Solar Base stress test in both phones' default modes, the ROG scored 6,211 for its best loop and 4,125 for its lowest loop score. And the Red Magic scored 8,665 for its best loop and 8,607 for its lowest loop score. In 3D Mark in their X and Rise modes respectively, the ROG scored 8,667 for its best loop and 6,908 for its lowest loop scores. And the Red Magic scored 8,666 for its best loop and 8,522 for its lowest loop scores. Interestingly enough, even with a high RAM count on the ROG, the Red Magic was able to beat out the ROG phone in terms of performance in an intense gaming scenario. That said, however, it heated up like a furnace, hitting temperatures around 44 to 49 degrees Celsius in both default and rise modes. Whereas the ROG was still cool to the touch, with the lowest being 35 degrees and highest around 44 degrees Celsius. However, it still lacks the performance of the Red Magic. The Red Magic is the most stable between the two and we actually attribute that to the Red Core 2 Pro chip, and the results really just speak for themselves. In Geekbench 6, again running both phones in their default and overclocked modes, here are the results. In their default modes, the ROG Phone 8 Pro scored 1,355 for its single core and 6,537 for its multi-core, while the Red Magic 9 Pro scored 2,247 for its single core and 7,088 for its multi-core scores. In their X and Rise modes respectively, the ROG scored 2,253 for its single core and 7,006 for its multi-core scores, while the Red Magic 9 Pro scored 2,250 for its single core and 7,126 for its multi-core scores. Yeah, it's kind of awkward given the price difference between the two phones. And now for the design, they're both very gamer-centric phones with only one of them being slightly more gaming forward, so to speak, and that is the Red Magic 9 Pro. Similar to the 8, its back is flat without the camera modules jutting out and the front-facing camera is hidden underneath the screen to utilize the entirety of it while gaming. I say it's gaming forward because Red Magic wants users to hold their phones whilst gaming in the most ideal way possible, and that's with a flat back. For long periods of gaming, especially with phones where a bump is present, we usually get a cover to level out the back and this solves that issue and prevents smudging the camera. But if you want to go Neil deGrasse Tyson and not have a case, no, you and you have that. no case on your phone, no. so you're a risk taker. Right. When you do that, then you never drop your phone. So it's not that I'm a risk taker, it's that I've changed my risk. Or simply eliminate the need to find one that levels out the camera module, then Red Magic has you covered. No more finger cramps, just gaming. 
Also, the design on this thing is gamer as It's clean and though I wish it did away with the gamer as clients of text to make it even cleaner, this is a real pretty phone to look at and though I do wish I got the black instead, the Snowfall White varies it up in its colorway with enough silvers to make me actually prefer this over black and gold. Also, of course, RGB is ever prevalent in the built-in fan and now air trigger buttons as well. The RG Phone 8 Pro's camera module, though not as large as others in the market, is still kind of intrusive. I may have huge hands and fingers but the module does get in the way of a comfortable grip with my middle and index fingers having to grip into the modules. Even with the issued phone cover, you will feel your fingers getting slightly fatigued over time. A good commute for me back home from the office is where I usually take on a couple rounds of PUBG, so we're talking a good 45 minutes give or take. And the experience with just the phone cover they have in this edition is almost borderline uncomfy, so get a case that makes the back flat. Also another thing, the anime vision on the back is cool and all, but man, I really love the ROG vision on the display at the back of the 7 Ultimate. The way that phone was made was just peak design, especially with that ventilation door at the top, which you don't see all the time. And I think that's the first of its kind. So yeah, anime vision is cool and all, but ROG vision is where it's at for me. Gaming wise, taking into account the ergonomics of the phones, the Red Magic really is your best bet for comfort in the long run. That and its 520Hz triggers. The ROG Phone 8 Pro's triggers are no longer ultrasonic, which is a huge step down for a gaming phone. I find myself either registering inputs when I don't need to and missing inputs when I do, which has become frustrating in critical situations. The Red Magic 9 Pro's triggers are still solid as heck with a lot of options for button input types as usual and are far more responsive than the ROG Phone 8 Pro, which again surprised me. Not saying that the ROG Phone 8 Pro is totally unplayable, but you will need to get used to the phone again for its returning users, which is kind of a bummer. Especially for games like PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile where every moment counts and having an issue with firing or misfiring a weapon could set you back and potentially lose a match. The cameras on both of them are decent, Ish. A step up from their predecessors, yes, but nothing much to write home about. They aren't exactly iPhone quality, of, of course, which is still the best in class when it comes to mobile phone photography. Here's the same photo taken at one times on all three phones. The Red Magic tends to be warmer while the ROG is a bit more contrasty and cooler, and the iPhone is, well, the, the iPhone. We all know the color science on it is better anyway. Both phones images are sharpened by default with the Red Magic actually producing slightly more detail than the ROG but in all honesty you're not here for the photography aspect of the phones, you're here to game. We all know the winner in this situation right here. The numbers don't lie. The Red Magic 9 Pro is the better bang for your buck option and it costs half of what the ROG Phone 8 Pro does which is it's still insane to me, like you've got better performance without having to toggle the overclocking rise mode and though it may not have the thermal management game that ROG does exceptionally well, I can't further justify getting anything else but the Red Magic. It's fast, it looks cool, it's comfortable to play with and with 6,500 million power of battery, a thousand more than the ROG, you're going to be gaming for a lot longer. So if you have any questions about the both of them, type them out in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to get to them. Don't forget to follow us on all of our socials right here to keep up to date with the latest news which we update stuff every day. And maybe if you haven't already, like this video and maybe subscribe to us. It helps us out a lot. And yeah, that's it. So uh, have a great week and I'll catch y'all soon.